When we use the frame in method of a geometry reader, SwiftUI will calculate the view's current position in the coordinate space we ask for. However, as the view moves, those values will change, and SwiftUI will automatically make sure Geometry Reader stays updated. Previously, we used Drag Gesture to store a width and height as an at state property. It allowed us to adjust other properties based on the drag amount to create neat effects. However, with Geometry Reader, we can grab values from a view's environment dynamically, feeding in its absolute or relative position into various modifiers. Even better, you can nest geometry readers so one can read the geometry for a higher up view and the other can read geometry for something further down the tree. To demonstrate this, we could make a spinning helix effect by creating 50 text views in a vertical scroll view, each of which uses the full width of the topmost view, then apply a 3D rotation effect based on their own position. Start by making a basic scroll view of text views with varying background colors. We'll say, let colors an array of color equals dot red, dot green, dot blue, dot orange, dot pink, dot purple, and dot yellow. Then in the body, we'll say geometry reader, full view in, inside there a scroll view going vertically, for each 0 to 50, index in, then a second geometry reader, geo in, text row with our index number, in a title font, using the full width of the frame. And for the background, we'll do self.colors, index modulo 7, and a frame with a height of 40. To apply a helix style spinning effect, we're going to place a rotation 3D effect directly below the background modifier. We'll say rotation 3D effect dot degrees double geo.frame in dot global dot min y divided by 5 on the axis x0 y1 z0 when you run that back you'll see the text views at the bottom of the screen are flipped those at the center are rotated about 90 degrees and those at the top are normal more importantly as you scroll around they all rotate as you move in the scroll view that's a neat effect but it's also problematic because the views only reach their natural orientation when they're at the very top. It's really hard to read. To fix this, we can apply a more complex rotation 3D effect that subtracts half the height of the main view. So I'll say minus full view dot size dot height divided by two. With that in place, the views will reach a natural orientation near the center of the screen, which will look much better. We can use a similar technique to create cover flow style scrolling rectangles this time adding a little padding so the view sit naturally in the center at the beginning and end. So I have a scroll view going horizontally without showing indicators, then a h-stack, then a for each zero to 50, index in, and a geometry reader, geo in, with a rectangle with one of our fill colors, with a frame height fixed at 150, rotation 3D effect, dot degrees, minus double, geo dot frame in, dot global, dot mid x, minus full view dot size dot width divided by two, then divided by 10. Axis, x zero, y one, z zero. Frame, width 150, and some padding, going horizontally, full view dot size dot width, minus 150, divide by two. And then around the geometry reader, I'll say edges ignoring safe area dot all. There are so many interesting and creative ways you can make special effects with geometry reader. I hope you can take the time to experiment.